Hi, welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Now today I'm doing a quick uh, Electronium CPU mining update video. And the reason I'm doing that is that I did the original video probably about six weeks ago now. And in the last couple of weeks, I've received quite a few comments and messages through YouTube basically asking me to clarify certain steps and saying that maybe certain things weren't working anymore. So um, rather than rehash that, because it, it you know that the experience can be different for different people with different antiviruses some people's you know antivirus is, is stopping software and stuff like that but what i thought i'd do i'm not actually using personally myself the same pool or software anymore for mining electronium but i have been mining it on and off for the last sort of six weeks uh just with my cpu and i'm not doing anything else on my desktop so i thought I will run you through basically what I'm doing uh, now and what I think is probably the easiest way of getting up and running mining electronium with your CPU. So basically uh, the first thing you'll need is a wallet address so you need a public address. Um, I've just uh, copied mine into this text file here uh, to make it easy but basically if you haven't got a, a wallet yet uh, linked below is my first YouTube video and the first sort of third of that video is basically going through and setting up the or generating an offline paper wallet so if you haven't got a wallet yet uh, click the link below to the previous video uh, watch the first sort of third of it until you've got the wallet up and running then you can stop that and jump back to here now the uh, pool we're going to be using is easyhash.io and they have uh, pools for various different coins so they have a Monero pool, Sumo coin, uh, Carbo Wanek, I've never heard of that before, Electronium and Intense coin but we'll be using the Electronium one. Um, again all these links will be below so if we scroll down this page it basically is a uh, new to crypto mining if you're trying to figure it out and it's it has a very simple kind of um, step by step bit. Here's a link also to the um, the wallet um, address if you don't have that. So if you haven't watched my previous video, but if you scroll down, um, we've got this section mining programs for processors, and we're going to be using the Sumo Easy Miner. You can click the download link here. This takes you over to the Bitcoin Talk. Uh, thread about this particular software with links to the download or you can just jump straight into the github and download it directly so the current version as of today which is 14th of Jan is the sumo easy minor version 0.1 beta 1.3 and they produce um, two different versions so there's a Windows 64 um, a 64 bit Windows version and also a Mac version that's a DMG file there so we're going to grab the uh, 64 Windows version I actually um, just downloaded it um, earlier so here it, it is in my download folder so this is the piece of uh, software that downloads you double click that and then click yes and then we can just allow the default settings so I agree install it takes you know a few seconds that's it it's installed now and then we can finish and run the software we can just close that download folder so this is basically what you you get so you'll get this little bit of a mining software that opens up and then what we need to do is add a pool to it so if we jump back to this page here the the start guide where we originally kind of download it from we'll see these are the details we need so the pool name is easy hash so we can literally just copy and paste these over so we click add pool the pool name is easy hash oops sorry i'm on uh team viewer and it's i'm on my mac here and it uses a um, different copy and paste uh, shortcut so let me just do that now so that's the pool name here's the url and port make sure you get the whole thing uh, in there and go back so we copy and paste it's not going to want to do that so let's copy that to the clipboard and paste that in and then the wallet address which we copied earlier so let's copy that and put in our wallet address apologies it's a lot easier if you're actually sat at the machine copying and pasting it's just that um, mac and windows machines use different um, shortcut keys for copying and pasting so it sometimes plays up on the team viewer and then the password here we can leave uh, blank just make sure um, it defaults to crypto night but just make sure at the top here it is set to crypto night and not crypto night light so that's all we need to do we've got the pool name the url and our wallet address click ok it's confirmation that it's added the pool and now we can literally just start mining so the two things to look at so you can check the priority um, I'll leave this at normal for now but you can have it set to um, just run when the computer's on idle or you can set these various different kind of priorities and then the number of threads so I have a Ryzen 
51600, I think it is this CPU, which has 12 threads. So let's just set it to 10 threads and click start. And that should start mining away. You can see here it's already mining, so we're getting 165 hashes a second, 170. Um, and then basically um, that's all there is to it. So um, it's now running. Um, it's running successfully. If we go back over to EasyHash, they also have a stats section. So EasyHash.io forward slash stats. Uh, again, this will be linked below. And basically, you just paste your wallet address into here. You can see this has already got my wallet address in it. Um, but if you didn't have your wallet address, you literally just kind of paste it in there and track the wallet and then it will grab your stats. Now it might take um, 15 minutes or so um, to get your initial kind of stats through. So um, we've got the software up and running here. It will stabilize after a, you know, a few minutes your hash rate and stuff like that. And you can mess about with different numbers of threads. So you could um, lower the number of threads if you're doing other work. So it, you can leave it running while you're doing other stuff. But um, it will sit here for a while. And then after a few minutes, you'll start to get um, an average hash rate and also it will do an estimate of how much money you're going to be uh, paid per week. Now, um, easyhash.io pays out automatically to this uh, wallet address that you added in to the mining software. And it pays out every time you reach uh, 10 electronium. Now, right at the beginning, when I first started using it, beginning of December, it was paying out um, basically whenever you hit two electronium and that start, oh, that changed. When was this? So about the 8th of December, they changed to a 10 electronium um, payout. Um, they've also switched from um, 0 0.01 um, a fee, pool fee, or like a payment fee for, for exchange to 0 0.1. So that seems reasonably high, um, but it's um, it's quite a reliable pool. It's run, you know, pretty pretty well for me. And this Sumo Easy Miner, you know, does run reliably. And it's a nice, easy way of getting up and running. So you can see here, we're starting to get shares accepted on the network. So that's how you get up and running. Um, hopefully that's been pretty straightforward and might be a little bit easier than the previous video. Apologies, a helicopter going over the house. So apologies if you heard that. But um, anyway, that's it for today. Just really just a, a quick, simple update video to try and help out those people that were having problems. But I'll put all these links below. If you do have issues, uh, let me know. The majority of issues I think people tend to find is from um, antivirus software, Windows Defender, you know, stopping you downloading software. I've never had an issue with the Sumo Easy Miner. Um, but your mileage may vary depending on your antivirus software. You may get problems trying to download it, in which case you'll have to set an exception or just switch it off momentarily, download the software and then reactivate it again. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, I've got some more videos coming soon. I just received um, a couple of new graphics cards. So my 1070 rig is up and running. Um, so I'll do a video on that hopefully later today or tomorrow. But anyway, have a great day and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.